Good morning, you spunky bastards. It is bright and I'm not yellow. Well, part of me is. I'm wearing a black shirt today because my yellow shirt needs a wash. Ooh, my uh, yellow hoodie needs a wash, sorry. Oh man, but no. <coughs> I am feeling like shit today. Oh yes, but I've got another um, stats test. Yay, more stats tests. Let's not and say we did, yeah? Uh, stats is like, it's, it's just like, it's supposed to be like intuitive. And then it's like on the surface it is, and then all the, all the, um, formulas and stuff underneath is not bleh anyway so i'm not looking forward to that today all right good news um well at the weekend i uh i went to the um ren fair and had some fun there but i got lost and uh, spent three hours trying to find my crew and um yeah, I didn't get to attack the uh, rock wall because by the time I'd found the buggers, my feet were hurting too much to do any sort of climbing. Like, God damn, I spent all day on my feet. Next year, next year I'm going to get it. And it's going to be one of the first things on my list so my feet aren't too sore uh, from all the walking around. I'm trying to find a place to sit. I find a, I find a nice cushy hay bale. But they're all in like direct sunlight, so I want to find somewhere in the shade, but there ain't no seating in the shade, and if there is, it's all taken. And seven dollars! Seven dollars for a bloody cup of ice water, are you kidding? Ice water, I can go jack in a box and get that for free! Shit! Damn, seven dollars, man, that's more expensive than a beer! I'm not kidding. Ah. Oh. And then there's the, um, uh, what was it called, um, gyro, it's like a kebab for all my friends in, friends in England who wouldn't know what gyro is, that's what they call a kebab over here, anyway, like doner kebab, yeah, so, but it's slightly different, uh, anyway, so the gyro is um, $8 from the vending truck, $8, and I get something that's smaller than my penis, imagine that. I'm like, damn, I think mine's worth more than $8. I'm gonna flop it out. Hey lady, how much would you give me for this? No. Um, shit. So, uh, what was it? So yeah, I got lost. And it's funny, um, I guess it's karma, really. And we're going under the bridge. So we're gonna get a lot of karma. 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 Karma, 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 so karma, 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 we lost the kid! No, it, it's not as bad as it sounds. Just, she went to the bathroom and we, we didn't realize she was in the bathroom. So when we moved classrooms, she didn't know we were in the other classroom. And she was like, oh my God, we've lost her. And then she started crying and then I wanted to cry because I'm like, oh my God, you're so adorable, stop it. So yeah, um, <laughs> but you know, I'm, I know what it's like to get lost. I mean, I mean, I've been getting lost since I was five years old, and I'm still getting lost. I mean, Saturday, I'm I'm 31 years old, and I'm still getting lost at the at the country fair. And I started thinking, because I've got this really big problem with clowns, right, man. But like, you get lost at the fair, and there ain't nothing but clowns. And you're running around going, I can't find my mommy. I can't find my mommy. And the only people who are coming to help you, like are the are the stage show people you know the people who walk around in the stilts and they're like oh hi little boy <laughs> are you lost and i'm like oh fuck that shit so maybe that's why i hate clowns um <laughs> just saying there might be a reason 
might be a raisin. I don't know. But, um, yeah, the um, little girl was adorable. And, you know, she forgave us for, for leaving her behind and everything. So it's all, it's all good and gravy. I just, I got a, you know, I got a bit of reality check with the, with the whole getting lost thing. Um, so, but she's a sweet girl. She's like absolutely tiny. She's like the littlest little thing ever. And it's freaking adorable. Um, so, you know, it, it wasn't her fault she got left behind. She went to use the bathroom. When you gotta go, you gotta go, you know? And one of the, one of the other teachers should have communicated to me that we, we had one in the bathroom. We were waiting for her to come back. You know, so we could have been aware, but you know, she she got really upset, and you know, so I, I feel bad that we upset her. You know, and like a little guilt playing on my conscience there. You know, but um, yeah, no, she, she still wants to come back to church, and, and I don't know. So it's uh, it turned out it turned out all good in the end. But uh, yeah, me getting lost at the at the Ram Fair is just totally embarrassing. This is a good reason why I should get a cell phone because without a cell phone, well, my friends can't call me and say, "Hey, where did you run off to again? You got distracted by something shiny, didn't you?" Well, yeah, actually, I did. I found a yellow shirt. It was me in yellow, right? And I found a Renaissance-style shirt that's bright yellow, like my shade of yellow, like exactly like this. It's perfect for me. And I was like, ooh, that and I was wearing this black shirt on, on Saturday. And I was wearing a black cape and black boots and black everything. And I was getting cooked. So I was like, man, fuck that shit. I'm changing my shirt. Oh yeah, there's a yellow one. Hey, I'll grab that. So, you know, I went in to change my shirt. Took a bit longer for fitting because the thing is massive. It's like a bloody circus tent. It is. I was like, you could fit three of me in there. You know, I'm not sure why three of me would ever be sharing a shirt, but still, point still stands. It's way too big, so I had to like pinch it in at the back and, and put a put a belt around it. You know, like make it fit. Right? You know what I mean. Um, so all that stuff took time. Oh, the big truck. Good grass. Oh, it's up for me. Okay. I'm going. Bollocks. I'm be late for the bus. So, um, so what was I saying? Um, yeah. It took time for me to get into my circus tent. And by the time I got back out, my group wasn't anywhere where I, I had left them. So it was pretty much like the entire bathroom uh, thing with the little girl. Uh, it was almost like exactly the same scenario. I went into a tiny little cubicle to change my shirt. She went into a tiny little cubicle to do her lady business. And <laughs> when we got out, the group wasn't where they were when we last saw them. <laughs> so uh, uh, I had so much feels there for that little girl. I was like, you know what? I know exactly what that feels like. I was 31 years old and I'm running around at the fair of crying going, I can't find my crew. <laughs> Would have been totally pathetic. <laughs> yeah, had to suck it up, be a man. Where the fuck is my crew? Where my crew at? Where my bitches at? Where, where they at? <laughs> you know, and <laughs> you know, but we do that, don't we? When we're adults, we're told to like suck it up and, and but it's like, and, you know, if you don't drive, if you're like me and you can't drive, you know, and you're like, shit, how the fuck am I getting home? You know, you start to worry, you start to play out these scenarios in your head, you're gonna have to get a ride home with some stranger you, you may not like, you know, end up, end up a crack whore or something, you know, and I don't know, man, that shit's scary. I was like, no man, I'm gonna be a man. I'm gonna be a man and I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this like a big boy. I want my mommy. You know, that, that kind of shit. <laughs> and it's like, uh, I don't know. Just, just admitting that 
for a while back there, I was scared, <laughs> you know. So, uh, and it's not my group's fault. I ran off, I wanted to get the shirt, you know. But, you know, I still feel like when my class changed classrooms, it's my fault because we didn't, we didn't acknowledge that the girl had gone to find the uh, thing, uh, to find the bathroom. So, I don't know. I don't know whose fault, but the, the girl's mom said, you know, these things happen, you know. And, but when the girl went missing, like, there was like this moment of, of me thinking, what if she was kidnapped? You know, just this slight moment of thinking, oh fuck, <laughs> you know, that girl could be in the back of a truck by now, you know, and like, panic. <laughs> it's like, oh, quick, find the girl, find the girl, find the girl. Oh, she's outside the bathroom. Oh shit, you know, but the, that couple of minutes, you know, how, however long it was, must have been like fucking hell, you know. So, uh, poor girl. But she's all right now. Hopefully, no long-lasting trauma. You know, uh, <laughs> 31 years. Well, if I've been getting lost ever since I was a kid, no, probably not 31 years. But long enough getting lost, and I'm probably still, <laughs> probably still the same scared little kid I used to be walking around, walking around at the fairs, going, "Are you my mommy?" Oh dear, <laughs> I'm pathetic. Anyway, thank you for listening to my vlog. I'm almost at the train station. I have gone way over my time um thanks for listening i love you spunky bastards take care stay creative peace